afternoon. Uh, this is the Mead Infinity 80. A nice little short tube F5 refractor. I've had it now for about three weeks and I wanted to give you a visual of its performance compared to its larger sibling, the uh, R5. I have both scopes uh, trained on the same target. I'll hold my phone up to the eyepiece and let you get an image uh, comparison for yourself and to decide whether you want a short tube 80 F5 or larger, I'm sorry, short tube 80 F5 refractor or a longer uh, F8 5 inch refractor. Both render uh, exquisite image quality. I'll start with the R5 since I'm up here right now. Give me uh, one second. Okay, here's the R5. It's a little cool out here. It's about 25 degrees and the scopes have been in the house where it's warm so they might not quite be uh, acclimated to the weather but the images are still pretty sharp and give you a good idea of the kind of quality both scopes uh, present to the eye. Yeah, good clarity, sharpness and like uh, both these scopes for acromats they uh, have minimal false color. Very uh, under it's like it's really hard to detect unless you uh, purposely look for it. But as long as you have good eyepieces and use a good diagonal, uh, false color shouldn't be a problem for you. Okay, I'll switch now to the short tube, Eddie. One second. All right, this is the short tube, Eddie, and it has good clarity, like his big brother. Of course, the image scale is a little smaller, but uh, details are still very present. This scope has really been a nice surprise. Uh, it's a wide field of view, uh, depth of field, and lack of false color. I'm really impressed with uh, modern acrobats. Both these have less false color than my Skyview 90, which is in my first video with my R5 next to it. Very impressive scopes. Um, it's, a good, it's a good time to be in the market for acrobat refractors. You won't be disappointed at all. And that's the short two Betty's image. It's a nice little scope. I'm using a 27 millimeter Orion uh, flat fill eyepiece along with a dielectric diagonal by Orion. Needs 14 millimeter, 82 degrees, and Orion's ED 8 millimeter. And also the Palazzo that came with my uh, R5, the 26 millimeter. They really give good images. Now this scope itself has a nice little starter kit, especially if you're buying it for a child. This is what you get: an egg image and an image, uh, an erect image, well, correct image, I should say, uh, diagonal along with a two times Barlow 26. Who is called out here? 26 millimeter modified acromat along with a 6.3 and a an, uh, nine millimeter. They're decent quality. They'll get you started, but if you want to get the best fidelity, I recommend upgrading uh, your eyepieces and diagonal. This is one fine little scope. I have to say, uh, I'm really finding myself gravitating towards it because it's just so much lighter than the big boy over here, the R5, which does give better performance on any target. But this is a 50 plus pound telescope, and the uh, short tube 80 is about maybe seven pounds. Very easy on the knees, on the back, on the shoulders to get outside and get moving. Has a very good objective lens. The coatings are very uh, evenly applied. It's a very nice scope. Meade has done an outstanding job on their refractors. It's a very good scope. I recommend it for someone looking for a very uh, user-friendly telescope, lightweight, yet delivers outstanding optical quality. Can't go wrong. If you want the, uh, if you want more visual uh, enhancements, planetary deep sky, this is the one you want, the R5. I've had this for a year now, and this scope continues to impress me. Awesome telescope. Outfitted with the motor drive of course and uh, upgraded our pieces Teleview, Vixen, a couple of Rhines and also have a 
20 millimeter me two inch which I have in the house but it's gonna be a good night tonight uh, hope the skies are good where you are have a good evening thanks for watching later